Zakia Khudadadi could have been Afghanistan's first woman athlete to participate in the Paralympic Games. Dashing her hopes, the Afghanistan Paralympic Committee confirmed that the country's top para-athletes will miss out on the Tokyo 2020 after the Taliban seized control of Kabul. Zakia, along with discus throw athlete Hussein Rasuli, will miss out on the Paralympic Games starting next week. The prices of flights soared at people, as people rushed to leave the country at the last moment as cities in Afghanistan fell to the Taliban. Zakia had posted a video asking the international community to not let the rights of women in Afghanistan be taken away easily and urged that the struggles should not go in vain. With all the struggles I've been through, I'm currently imprisoned inside the house. I cannot even go outside around this house with confidence and with security to go out to buy just a few things for myself, to train, to check on how anyone else is doing, or for anyone else to check that I'm not left out of the Tokyo 2020 competition. My family is based in Herat city, which has entirely been captured by the Taliban. Currently, I reside with extended family members in Kabul, who don't have enough food to feed their own children, and I am an additional burden on them. The heads of Afghanistan's National Paralympic Committee, Aryan Siddiqui, said that the developments were disappointing. He said that Zakia would have been a great role model for Afghan women in sports. And now with the Taliban taking control, the future does not seem to be bright. We can only predict for what, what happened in the past. And previously during the Taliban era, there was, you know, people couldn't compete, couldn't participate, especially female athletes. Um, but now it's it's very unpredictable. We, I can only see, I can only predict from what they did in the past that I'm guessing similar thing will happen in the future, uh, particularly more so for the, for the female athletes, um, you know, for the, for the for the minority groups, um, uh, even for for para athletes. Zakia was born specially abled and took inspiration from Rahullah Nikpai, who had won consecutive medals for Afghanistan in Beijing and the London Olympics. Taliban has pledged that the rights of women will not be snatched away and will be represented in government, however, within the limits of Islamic law. As Afghanistan turns into a global flashpoint, Leon goes behind the headline to bring you stories. As an Afghan woman, they don't, I wouldn't trust them because they don't have a very clear good track record of being keeping up their promises or something like that. If they were so keen on women's rights, they wouldn't stop Hirat girls from going to university. They wouldn't stop women working in uh, Azizi Bank in Kanda, right? So these are two different... Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.